Zaidun Zabi returned home to his family only recently. The human rights activist in Damascus says he spent almost a month in a regime detention center. People within 48 hours or 72 hours, if you are not really immune, then people lose mind. And one of the guys who were arrested with me lost his mind, in fact. There is no oxygen, so I, I think this is one of the reasons. And then there is the uh, tension you are in. And then there is the torture. Zaidun says the conditions were so bad, he almost lost his life. And he believes lobbying efforts by UN special envoy to Syria, Lakhdar Brahimi, and reports on CNN helped put pressure on authorities to free him. On day 17, they brought me for interrogation, and they saw a ghost. And possibly because of uh, what uh, Mr. Brahimi has done, I mean, to release me and what the CNN did to, I think they wanted to uh, change my place. And they did, they got me some medicine, so I survived death by coincidence. We are an ethical alternative to the regime. We will not copy any of the regime's, I mean, bad practices. We will not ask for revenge. We want justice. We want life, I mean, in face of the death culture. We want peace for all of us even for the guys in the regime. And just think of that. I mean, does democracy harm them? Those who are loyal to the government, does democracy harm them? Does equal citizenship harm them? Does justice harm them? Zaydun was arrested with his brother Sohaib, who remains in custody. About two months now, with no charges and no information on his condition by the authorities. Daddy, hmm? where are my, uh, my uncle? Your uncle is in jail. He's just the most peaceful person and the most innocent person you could ever meet. He's such a nice guy. Like my mother was telling me yesterday, can you imagine he's wearing the same clothes for 57 days? She was crying, she was. It's okay. Oh, he's been 57 days. Zaydun Zabi says he is aware of the risks he's taking speaking with us. He believes he could be arrested again. But he says he will not hide and will not stop. Freedom is that instinct that when it comes, you never let go. We can't stop now. We will never stop until we get our freedom. We want to express ourselves freely. Is that a crime? 22 في 2012